Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Fee and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to make guacamole. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So to make your guacamole, you want to make sure that you have fresh vegetables and fresh fruit. And the fruit is the avocado and we call it pear in Jamaica. So make sure that they're fresh the fresher they are the better your guacamole will taste so i'm using roma tomato or some people call it plum tomato what you want to do is to remove the seeds because if you add the seeds to it your guac is going to become watery and you don't want that Next step is to dice your tomatoes. So if you have a tomato smasher or you have a potato cutter, you can use it to smash your tomatoes like what I just did. I will leave the link for this um, potato cutter in my description. I bought it on Shein and it's pretty cheap and it's really handy. Then if you don't have that, you can just go ahead and just cut your tomato using your knife. You'll get the same result. It's just that the cutter saved time. Now I'm going to cut my purple onion. Some people use white onion, but I think white is too harsh. So the purple onion is a little bit sweeter, and I think it tastes better in the guacamole. If you rather to use a white one, then go ahead and do that. But the purple one for me gives a better result. So I suggest using the purple one. Now I'm going to dice my jalapeno and I'm going to do this really small, extremely small because you don't want to bite into peppers like that. I'm using the seeds in mine because I love my guacamole spicy. So I'm using seeds in mine. So I'm chopping my cilantro very fine to add to my guacamole. Cilantro is like the babe into guacamole. So you want to put a lot of cilantro into your guac. Promise you won't regret it. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the seeds from my avocado and of course you want ripe avocado to make your guac. So I'm just demonstrating how some people cut their avocado, put in slice and everything. This way is for salad, not for your um, guacamole. For your guac, all you need to do is just to scoop it out. Use a spoon. And just scoop it out now we're gonna go to the fun part of making this guacamole we're gonna smash those avocado some people like some chunks of avocado in their guac not me I like my avocado smooth the chunks what I like is a tomato and the onion that's the chunks I like in my guacamole so if you like chunks in yours you don't have to mash yours out like I did and now you want to go in with all your veggies that you cut earlier, all those fresh veggies. And I said you have to use fresh one because the fresh one is what's going to bring out the flavor into this guacamole. 